What you working on? Oh, I'm just shopping for some boots. You? Oh, I'm just looking at some colleges. Well, looks like we're gonna have to stop soon then. Oh, those are cute. Hey, well, you better bookmark that page page because it's time for another edition of Your oh. Nightly oh. News. Welcome to the 8th edition of your Nightly News. I'm Paige. And I'm Sabrina. Today we've got a story for you on the secret world of Art Guild. But first, let's talk to the girls for the longest season. Dance team. Five, six, seven, eight. No, no, guys, 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 guys. We're not doing a story on that dance team. We're doing a story on this dance team. And no hoods, no hoods. And here, let me show you a relay count. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, guys, you guys are awful. Let's go talk to the actual dance team. So how's Palms going in your first year? Good so far. We had a competition Saturday and we got fourth. Hey, can always improve off that. So how do you like Coach Fortner? Good, she's really straightforward and she tells us what we need to do and how to fix things. That's good in a coach. So then what's the hardest part about palms? Um, the hardest part would be having practices late and never getting time to do your homework a lot. Yeah, we all know we get a lot of homework. Thank you for your time. <laughs> so what's your favorite thing about palms? Probably the girls in it. We get along really well and we have a lot of fun times together, I think, in practice. All right, and how was your first competition? Were you nervous? Um, not really, because I've been dancing for a little bit now, but it was a lot different considering it was a varsity team. So, how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing since sixth grade, so about three years. Nice. So, last question. What's your favorite thing about Coach Fortner? I think she's very experienced, and she knows what we can do, and she really pushes us to our limits. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah. So, I'm here with the sisters, and Sarah, can you tell me how your first competition went? Ah, oh, shoot. You're Sarah. Can you tell me how your first competition went? Yeah, it was good. We got fourth out of ten teams. Well, that's pretty good. And before I mess this up again, let me get this right. You're Sarah and you're Hannah, correct? No. Uh, you're Hannah. Hannah, can you tell me some goals you have for this season? Well, we've been to state the past three years, so I'd like to make it a goal to go back this year. That's a good goal to have. And Sarah, do you look up to your sister, Hannah? Yeah. Uh, can you please elaborate on how? Well, she's kind of taller than me, so... Okay. Um, Hannah, what do you think about Coach Fortner? How does she really push you girls to be your best? She makes sure that we're improving each night and that we finish better each competition. I see. There you have it. Thanks, girls. Here at the Coach of the Palms team, Miss Fortner. So what do you expect out of your girls during the season? Well, competitive season is a little different since IHSA took it over, um, but we practice every day and they need to be at every practice. They have to condition. That's a big part of having their core strength and their muscles to be able to dance. And I expect them to be there every practice and have a good attitude. And So what are your goals then for the season? Uh, I told the girls early in the season our goal was to get better and keep improving every competition. So our first competition at Manuka was last weekend. We placed fourth. So my goal for this weekend is to place higher than fourth to be in the top half. Um, we started, it was a tough competition because we were up against the state champs from last year and several of the teams in that competition were in the top ten at state. So it, it'll be hard to keep moving up, but hopefully we can do that. Um, and our goal is to obviously qualify for state and make it all the way to the top 10 teams and be there at the last day of the state finals in Bloomington. So, We all hope you're there. So uh, I understand you guys have a competition coming up in January. Can you talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. Um, on Saturday, January 16th, we host an IHSA sectional, and we have, we're over capacity right now. We, Mr. Poston had a, put a wait list for us. Um, we have over 29 teams signed up that will be here to compete to compete. It'll be a great day for anybody that doesn't have anything going on. There'll be over 300 high school dancers here in the 
little town of Mononk at Fields Crest High School dancing. So be a lot of great things going on that day. And uh, if anybody doesn't have anything to do, we could use some volunteers to help work and do things. So you heard it here from her. So uh, then what's your favorite thing about coaching palms? My favorite thing. It's kind of weird we don't call it palms anymore because we barely use our palms. Since IHSA took it over, it's dance more. And um, I think the varsity dance team, it's nice to um, have a group of girls that focus on our program. And when I was in high school, I competed with dance and we went to nationals and went to Florida and competed. And so it's nice that my love of dance from growing up when I was little can be shared with these girls and that hopefully it's something that we're making memories and building the girls not only as dancers and as their skill level but also as people to learn and grow and hopefully they learn life lessons that help them for the rest of their life. Well good luck this season and thank you for the interview. Thank you. All right let's hit from the top. Five, six, seven, eight. Good luck on the rest of your season. For the Nightly News, I'm Matthew. I'm Jack. And I'm Drew. Thank you. Keep up the hard work and good luck in competition season. It's not all about sports here at the Nightly News. There are other organizations as well, like Art Guild. Three, two, one. Hello. Today we will be looking at art projects. And as you can see here, this looks like a good breakfast some diabetes here they have a work uh, the color green I think they did a little extra a little, little bit of that and um, up here we got a, a light hair and um, something legendary Pokemon now let's go to the back so Alex can you tell me what exactly Art Guild does we are a group of students who are I would say the, some of the best artists in the school and we are voted in from people from previous years and you get to make a project to get in and you just do things to help the community like paint phases at football games and other things like that. Well, seems like a really great thing. Uh, I heard you went up to Chicago. Yeah, it was a fun trip. We got to go to the art museum. It was a lot of me pretending I knew where I was walking around, keeping my sweatshirt on because I had really bad pit stains and a lot of chafing, but other than that it was pretty good. <laughs> Did you learn anything new while you were up in Chicago? I learned that seeing pieces in a museum is much cooler than seeing them in a picture. Uh, do you happen to know what your favorite art project's been so far? I would have to say this one right here. Holy. <laughs> All right, Alex, I got one more question for you. Alex, <laughs> I have one more question for you. What goes on in the back room? Classified information. You can't tell me? That, that's classified. Classified. That just, classified. You can't know. Just nothing can't know. at all. You can't know. Okay. You're not allowed to know. Thank you, Alex. We'll, we'll find out. Okay. So, Jenna, can you tell me what exactly goes on in Art Guild? Well, right now we are helping the fourth graders make lily pads for St. Jude. Uh, do you have any other fundraisers coming up? On December 22nd, we're having, we're selling donuts and um, coffee in the art room. What's your favorite part about Art Guild? You get to make art outside of class and as a group and we do a lot of fundraisers so it's fun. Now will you tell us what goes on in the back room? Well that's classified so I can't. Dang it. All right well thank you Jenna. So Miss Weiss could you tell me what exactly Art Guild is? Um, it's kind of like art club um, but it is for kids who really show an interest in art and they have to show artwork to get in and then the previous members vote on the kids who deserve to be in. So you have to have like, um, usually it's an A or B average in art classes and if you just show an, a real interest in, in what you're doing in art. Okay, okay. So what kind of fundraisers do you guys do? Um, we do uh, some face painting in the park for Pumpkin in the Park. Um, 
for the 4th of July committee and usually what we do is we just donate our money back to them because it goes for the um, fireworks. Um, we've been doing the last couple years we've been doing the coffee and donuts. Um, we did it last year right before Christmas um, for finals and we're going to do that again which would be the 22nd. It'll be from 7 30 till 8 15 and we sell donuts and coffee and this year we're going to have the money go to St. Jude's. And then we've also done, um, we did that in the fall then this year too, right before homecoming. Okay, uh, what's your favorite project? Um, I like them all, but uh, the Art Guild this year is doing the um, lily pads and this is going to St. Jude. Mm -hmm. And this is, we teamed up with the fourth graders over at South and um, they designed them they decided what they wanted on the lily pads and then um, our guild and art three drew them and painted them and these will go on the this is the base for the kids to ride to go get their chemo so the chemo pole will will be in here for the iv and they actually and then they'll put them on wheels and then they actually get to ride them to their room and back to wherever they're getting their chemo so it's kind of like brightens their day because they get these special um, lily pads Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, it is very cool. All right, now the question everyone's dying to know. Okay. What exactly goes on in the back room? Don't tell them! <laughs> I'll take that as your answer. Yeah, yeah that's good. Okay, uh, thank you for your time. Uh-huh, you're very welcome. Hello, we are here in the art room, and this is the back room, and we shall go inside, and, oh, you know, it isn't that bad, and, ah! So, Emma, what do you like most about Art Guild? Well, I like that we get pop tarts in every meeting, but I also like that we get to do a lot for people. Like, we make donations to St. Jude and stuff like that. Uh, I heard you went up to Chicago. How was that? Well, I almost died in Chipotle. That was not that great. But other than that, it was a pretty good experience. I saw a lot of art that I've always wanted to see, and it was just really nice. Is there anything you've learned from Art Guild? I've learned that like everyone needs to work together because for most of our projects we have to have a partner in a group and you have to make sure that you all have time to do it and we all have to be able to do it well. Yeah. All right, so what goes on in the back room? <laughs> We're coming, John. Holy crap. Oh, God. John, are you okay? John, what happened? John? I warned you. <laughs> No students were harmed in the making of that story. That's our official statement. So the holidays are just around the corner. Here's some other upcoming events. Well, that's our show. Good luck on semester exams. And in the meantime, you keep being festive. And we'll see you after break with another edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News.